Are you debating a DO program for your medical school journey? In this video, we will talk about how you should seriously consider a DO degree as a viable option in 2024. I work with so many students who debate this very issue, and so it's very important to get it right, and it's very important to you to really kind of find the best fit possible. I remember chatting with Nina and her mom, and how invested they were in finding the best fit for Nina. You know, we worked together, we really fine-tuned her message. She saw multiple acceptances and found her best fit. So if you want to learn how I work with students and really kind of tailor your message and see if we're a good fit, then grab your spot on the call calendar and we can chat about the program, my process, and go from there. All right, so let's get started. Step one, the philosophy of osteopathic medicine. Let's kick off by discussing what makes an osteopathic medicine kind of journey unique. So osteopathic medicine is based on a holistic approach to healthcare. DOs, doctors of osteopathic medicine, are trained to treat the whole person, right? Not just a series of symptoms. So this means they consider factors like lifestyle, environment, emotional well-being. They consider all of this in addition to the physical kind of manifestation of symptoms when diagnosing and treating patients. More specifically, DOs receive about 200 to 300 additional hours of training in osteopathic manipulative medicine. So OMM, and the hands-on approach is OMT, right? It's a core part of the osteopathic medicine kind of set of principles. And it involves manipulating the body's musculoskeletal system to help restore the body's natural functioning. So OMM can help with a wide range of medical issues, including pain, discomfort, limited range of motion, asthma, sinus disorders, migraines, carpal tunnel, discomforts in pregnancy, menstrual pain, so, you know, and other conditions. But just to kind of give you a sense where it's not just kind of treating a condition with prescriptions or invasive procedures or non-invasive procedures, but like really thinking about other um, aspects of care. Preventative care is key for DOs. They emphasize the natural ability of the body to heal itself when feasible. They are not against medicine whatsoever and prescription whatsoever, but it is important in today's healthcare landscape to kind of think about um, the role of prescription, or at least it is important for within DO's philosophy to think about that role. So why is osteopathic medicine becoming more relevant and popular in 2024, which it is? Let's look at some of the latest kind of trends in healthcare and kind of you know relevant topics that are aligning with the osteopathic philosophy. Philosophy. So one, integrative medicine. Um, there's a growing emphasis on integrative medicine, which combines traditional and alternative therapies like acupuncture, nutrition, mindfulness. So DOs with their kind of holistic training, as well as a kind of are very well equipped to kind of lead this aspect of the field. Number two, values-based care. So the healthcare system is shifting from volume-based to value-based care. Ideally, we are kind of, you know, healthcare is focusing on patient outcomes rather than the number of services provided. I'm not, this isn't to kind of like chastise any aspect. I love all MDs and DOs, but there is this kind of sense of vocabulary about a value-based care that I think DOs are talking about and just thinking about long-term. So kind of thinking about the long-term wellness of a patient and not just an acute um, situation. So focus on mental health, I think is, is number three as well. So mental health awareness is growing. Integration of mental and physical health is becoming more recognized, which is fantastic. DOs are trained to consider mental health, uh, mental and emotional aspects of patient well-being. And so I think providers are evolving within healthcare environment. This video, by the way, is great for a YDO essay. If you want some vocabulary to kind of think about what you align with, this video might be helpful as well to kind of think about if DO is the best fit for you. Another issue DOs are really kind of focusing in on is chronic pain management. And so as the opioid crisis kind of continues in certain areas of our country specifically, there is this kind of uh, return to a non-pharmacological approach to pain and to pain management. So OMT and osteopathic techniques may be of interest to really kind of think about how to manage pain without relying on medications alone. Now let's talk about one of the biggest concerns of a pre-med applying or considering to DO, which is the residency match rates. How are DO uh, students faring? in uh, performing through the ERAS, the Electronic Residency Application Service. So especially in recent years, let's talk some numbers. 2023, the match statistics, 84.6% of DO applicants matched into a residency program. This was a slight increase from previous years, reflecting the growing acceptance and integration of DOs 
in all medical specialties. Specific specialty matches, DO students are increasingly matching into competitive specialties like anesthesiology, emergency medicine, orthopedic surgery, though primary care fields tend to kind of be the most popular, internal medicine, family medicine. In fact, 50% of DO graduates continue to match in primary care specialties, which aligns well with the osteopathic focus on holistic patient-centered um, care. The 2022 cycle DOs were 85.9% matched, which was kind of, you know, um, showing that that upward trend. So we kind of dipped a little bit, but still kind of in the realm, right? This improvement kind of for DOs, especially now with a few cycles of kind of like ear ass numbers um, under our belts, that while some specialties are still kind of dominated by MDs, there are specialties that DOs are matching in without a problem. The 2022 match um, combined DOs and MDs, right? So, um, and it yielded positive results. About 7,300 US DO seniors sub submitted rank order and 91% of them got matched. So that percent is a bit lower than the 93.9% that were matched by seniors at USMD granting medical schools, but it's in the conversation, right? So just to kind of go back a little bit in 2020, 2021, the AOA figures were like 57% of DOs placed in primary care, 30% in family physicians, 19 internists, 7.5 pediatricians. By comparison, 28% of active US physicians with MDs practice in primary care, 11% of family physicians, general practice, 10% are internists, 6%, 6.8% 6 are pediatrician. So this is data coming from the Association of American Medical Colleges. These numbers, I think, should tell you that while there is some skepticism or there was some skepticism and worry in the past, the DO graduates are now competing effectively for residency spots across the board, right? Are you starting to write your DO personal statement or starting to think about applications? If you wanna learn how I work with students and we really tailor-made your, your messaging so that you fit in your best program, grab your spot on our calendar and we could start talking and see if we're a good fit. All right, so let's think about why choose osteopathic medicine. So why you should choose it in 2024, holistic approach, right? So if you're passionate about treating the whole person, not just the disease, osteopathic medicine offers the training and philosophy that aligns with this goal. Like I said in other videos, there are definite overlaps. Of course, MDs also think about the whole person, but these are just kind of principles principles that are tied to osteopathic medicine as well. The process continues to evolve, right? And holistic integrative or healthcare landscape continues to evolve and integrative kind of approaches are gaining recognition. And so DOs are also kind of gaining diverse opportunities. They're not at times limited to a specific specialty. If you're interested in primary care, a more competitive specialty, a DO degree offers diverse opportunities to pursue your passion. It's not just one or the other, right? However, if you are dead set on a very, very competitive specialty, Specialty, on a hyper competitive specialty. If your goal is to match into ultra competitive specialties like dermatology, neurosurgery, you may face a steeper challenge as a DO and you may want to consider that as you're applying. I have a number of students who always apply MD and DO to really kind of think about their options in a holistic way. If you prefer a more holistic approach, then kind of DO medicine might be right for you. So because I am all about messaging, 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 right? How do you stand out in a DO application? Let's talk about how you, if you decide this is the path you're gonna take, how do you write yourself into acceptance, right? So you wanna show, of course, a genuine understanding of the commitment to osteopathic principles. So admissions committees wanna see that you are not just kind of applying as a plan B backup plan, right? You wanna highlight your experiences where you've practiced or witnessed holistic care in action where you've shadowed a DO, where you've seen um, OMT and how it worked for XY patient and kind of share that story how you kind of contributed by doing something for a patient that was within the tenets and within the umbrella of holistic care that took into account social determinants of health, housing, food insecurity, things like that. Make it clear that in your personal statement and in your interviews that you are choosing osteopathic medicine, right? Because it resonates with your personal approach to patient care, that it's not a fallback option. That is key 
I see it every time, even when students well-meaning are very interested in DO, and then I look at their experiences section and not one shadowing. And so it's kind of, you know, they don't shadow any DOs. And so you want to really think about how you are being intentional with what you're saying from a subtext perspective too in your essay. So in conclusion, 2024 healthcare trends are really, really kind of creating the space in the healthcare la landscape for this holistic integrative approach. And DOs are in a very kind of well-suited, primed for this kind of ever-changing field, ever-changing space within medicine. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, jump on our calendar if you wanna chat about how I work with students and go from there. Start, I have, I'll link a couple of playlists. You have so many videos where I share complete essays, where I share how to start writing and really kind of thinking about how you show yourself reveal your kind of traits and interests and commitment to deal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.